you are already comfy in your seats, would, would you just kind of get up out of your seat for just a moment? You know, like, I just sat down. Seriously, I just sat down. Um, would you get out of your seats for just a minute and say hello to someone? Give them a big hug and say, good morning. Welcome to Elevate. Spirit, because the Bible tells us where two or more are gathered in his name, that he will be there. So would you do me a favor and just bow your heads right there and pray with me for just a moment. Jesus, we love you so much, and we desperately need you to move in our lives today. We desperately need you to speak to us today. So I just pray that your spirit would be welcome in this place. We welcome you to do whatever it is you want to do and say whatever it is you want to say to us this morning in Jesus' name. And if you said that prayer with me in faith, would you say amen? Amen. Hey, let's worship God today. Okay, so before we get going, you know the drill. If you got coffee, you're going to have to put it down. Sorry. There you go. You want to bob your head like this? Totally can. There you go. Uh. All right, so we got to get the blood flowing. Got to get the body moving. Just like him. Just like him. There you go. All right, sing Heaven Thundered. Heaven thundered and the world was born. Life begins and ends in the dust you form. doing great nothing shall be impossible 
Your kingdom reigns unstoppable. We'll shout your praise forevermore. Jesus, our God, unstoppable. Nothing shall be impossible. Your kingdom reigns unstoppable. We'll shout your praise forevermore. Jesus, our God, unstoppable. Nothing shall be impossible. Your kingdom reigns unstoppable. We'll shout your praise forevermore. Jesus, our God, unstoppable. Nothing shall be impossible. Your kingdom reigns unstoppable. We'll shout your praise forevermore. Jesus, our God, unstoppable God. Let your glory go on and on. Impossible things in your name.
sing this morning. Holy Father, Holy Son, Holy Spirit. Holy Father, Holy Son, Holy Spirit. You shine.
with us this morning God we choose to interact with you God we choose to push past everything that's happening in this room God we choose to push back the music and the words God we choose to be with you so each of us God in our hearts we lift our eyes to you God for you are our hope you pursue us. 
God, you are running after us even in this moment. Lord, and I pray that we would feel your presence, we would feel the reality of your love, that reckless love, that abandoned love, that I'll give everything kind of love. So each of us this morning, God, we choose to respond. We say yes to you and your love. Tell them this morning, God, I say yes to you and your love. Father, this morning, I choose to receive your love. Help me to feel you chasing me. Help me to feel you, God, with me. nothing you wouldn't do for us. There's nothing, God, that you haven't already done for us. Sometimes we can kind of become desensitized and apathetic about just the cares of the world, this, these major things that we, we don't have solutions for. And, um, and I feel like that's something that, that God wants to break in our lives. 
And then there's this other theme that kept coming this week. And um, it was this theme about uh, disappointment and expectation. So maybe you expected something some way and you were disappointed or the reverse inverse of that reverse of that, that you, somebody expected something of you and you totally disappointed them. And so these are kind of the two major themes that the Lord has been bringing up throughout the week. So I don't know if either of them connect with you, but I do feel like these are things that God wanted to highlight during this last part of worship. And so those are things I want to pray with you and um, and I want to pray against uh, because um, those are strongholds that sometimes will try and come into our lives and maybe attach themselves to uh, our identity. So then we become, um, identify with becoming a disappointment or we identify with being disappointed, right? And we identify with that and then that becomes a part of who we are. And then the other part of that with apathetic, just not even really caring because feeling like maybe you you might disappoint so why even try because what if I fail and um and so thematically that's what the Lord's been bringing up this week and I just want to pray um with you if if that maybe you've been experiencing that to some degree maybe this week it was a week where it was like man I was super I had high expectations about this or that and I was super disappointed or um or I feel like such a disappointment to the people around me. Like I tried really hard to make it. I tried really hard to figure it out. I tried really hard to do it and I just failed. So can I pray with you if, if that's you? And, and if it's not you, um, would you pray with us, those that, that maybe experienced that this week? If that was you, um, would you just raise your hand so I know who I'm praying with? Um, okay, several people are raising K. Okay, awesome, awesome. So... Uh, let's pray. How about that? Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Come, Lord. Meet us here. Meet us in this room. Meet us on this hill. Meet us right here at Aleva Drive. Would you meet with us? Come, Lord, come and be with us. God, come and spend time with us, Lord. Oh, we don't know. We don't have it all figured out. And we're learning and we're growing in you and we're trying and we're trusting in you. And sometimes, God, we just we mess up. Sometimes, God, we we disappoint people. We disappoint friendships and relationships and, and we disappoint our, our co-workers or our bosses or we disappoint um, our professors or we disappoint the people in our lives that we're trying to um, not disappoint. We just disappoint them and we don't mean to. some of us, God, we're so disappointed with other people, people that we thought were going to be one way and do one thing and be something. And then it didn't work out how we thought and our expectations were way up here, but our experiences were way down here, God. And so, Father, I just pray that your sweet spirit would come and sweep over our hearts today, Lord that any spirit of apathy where we just say, I don't care. I don't know. I don't feel anything. I'm not sure. All of those kind of uh, thoughts that try and attach themselves to us and to our, to our spirit and to who we are in Christ. The Lord rebuke you. And we just call upon the name of Jesus in this moment. God, would you come in, not just into our minds and our thoughts and how we think, but God, would you come into our being and in our spirit and how we feel? Lord, would you come into those places? Lord, would you come in and just realign us with you and what you want to do in our lives, Lord? And God, we just ask, Lord, that you would break down every... um, 
every lying spirit that says we're not good enough, every lying spirit that says, how no matter how hard you try, you're just not going to make it, it's just not going to be enough. Any lying spirit that says you are not good enough, that you are not enough, that you're not going to come through. Any lying spirit that has attached itself to this community, to this body of, of believers, I just, I just ask right now, Holy Spirit, would you come in with the truth that you are and would you speak so soundly the word of truth today, Lord? Let us hear it loud and clear. Loud and clear. Speak your truth and diffuse any lie of the enemy. That we are not a disappointment. That we are people who make mistakes on a daily basis, but it doesn't change who we are in you. And that we can walk in those doors, not with our head down low, but we can walk in those doors with our head held up high because you are lifting us, Lord. You are holding us up. You are pulling us up, Lord. You are pulling us up to, to where you are, to see things from how you see them with your perspective. So Holy Spirit, I just pray that you would lift everything Every spirit that's that's down right now, every spirit that's weak that came in kind of just defeated and feeling apathetic and feeling um, with just this feeling of disappointment in their lives that maybe they thought it should be, could be, would be one way and it turned out the other. I just pray, Holy Spirit, would you just grab us and just lift us? Almost like a parent picks up a toddler. Would you just lift us, Lord? Would you lift us up? Would you lift our spirits up? Would you lift us into your presence, Lord, so that we can see things more clearly the way you see them, Lord, not the way we see them, not the way the world sees them, not the way anyone else sees them. God, we want your perspective. We need your perspective. We need your power to come in and do the work that only you can do. God, we cannot fabricate anything. We cannot make anything happen on our own. Only by your power and by your spirit that you come in and you partner and you come in and you transform and you come in and you change and you come in and you lift up every part that is down. Every person here that feels weak and low, I just pray, Holy Spirit, would you lift us up, Lord? Would you elevate us, Lord? Would you elevate us to see things how you see them? Them and to, to understand things how you understand them. God, open up our hearts and our minds to receive everything it, that it is that you want to give to us today, Lord. I just pray, Lord, that you would break off every spirit that is lying to us that we are not good enough. Break it off in Jesus' name. Every spirit that says, ah, oh, you shouldn't care. It doesn't matter. You shouldn't try because it's not going to make a difference. We just break off those spirits and those lying, that lying enemy. We, we rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And we call out that the sons and daughters of the Most High God, that we will stand up, that we will stand firm, that we will have our head up high because we are your sons and daughters. We are your children. We are called by your name. We are appointed by you. We are not here on accident. In. We are here on purpose for your purpose. And so, Holy Spirit, I pray that you would break off any lying spirit that is trying to attach itself to your people here in this room today. God, that we would not come in with chains, but we would be able to just, that you would break them off and that we would leave free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I just ask for your freedom to come into this room, Lord, for your freedom to come in, Lord. Would you break it off, Lord? Every single lying spirit, break it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You can do it Lord and you are doing it Lord so we just thank you for what you're doing right now we thank you that you are moving we thank you that you are alive and well that you are active in our lives and we partner with your spirit God we won't move on we won't go on until we know God that you are with us until we are solidified in what you're doing until we know that you are walking with us that you are carrying us that you are lifting us like that toddler onto your shoulders and saying sit right here baby girl you're gonna be okay you know what son I know it's been hard but it's gonna be okay I know disappointment it has been a big part of your life but you are not a disappointment you are not a disappointment some of you need to hear that right now God's saying that he is not disappointed in you that you might be disappointed in yourself but God is not disappointed in you 
that he is not displeased with you, that he does not frown upon you. When he thinks about you, you bring a smile to his face. You light him up and just like Lulu, when we look at her dancing in the, in the crowd, when we look at her dancing and praising Jesus, not even really knowing the fullness of what God has for her, yet just blindly walking in and trusting her, her father, trusting that he has a plan, not even thinking about those things, that that's how God sees you. Be reminded that that's how God sees you. And you are not a disappointment. Yes. We love you, God. Thank you for the reminder. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, all God's people say, Amen. Amen. All right, well, we can go home now, I guess. <laughs> Would you do me a favor? Um, we're going to just uh, take a few moments. We have a couple of um, announcements to make. But before we do that, would you just give somebody a hug? Like, especially if they really don't look like they want one. You know what I mean? Just really dig in right there. Dig in. Would you help me uh, welcome up uh, Pastor 